Welcome to this video series on Utah Divorce, Your Financial Declaration, Why Your Financial Declaration Matters, and How to Prepare Your Financial Declaration the Right Way. With rare exception, divorce litigants struggle with preparing a complete, accurate, and truthful financial declaration. We prepared this video and an accompanying blog post to help you overcome procrastination, understand the purpose of each part of your financial declaration, and persuade you, we hope, not to give in to the temptation to lie on your financial declaration or to try to hide anything from disclosure on your financial declaration. This video has a companion blog post, as I mentioned, that you can read by clicking on the link provided in the description section of this video. The video is a more hands-on and how-to guide than the blog post itself is, but we assure you that both this video and the blog post are well worth your time. Here is a list of the subjects we will cover and the order in which we will cover them in this video series. 1. What is your financial declaration and what is its purpose? 2. Is there a way to be exempt from preparing and producing a financial declaration? Spoiler alert, no there is not. 3. Do I have to give the court a copy of my financial declaration? 4. Do I have to give my spouse a copy of my financial declaration? 5. What will happen if I do not prepare and provide my spouse or the court, if and when necessary or when ordered to do so, a copy of my financial declaration? 6. Isn't a financial declaration just busy work? 7. I do not see the point of a financial declaration. Do you see a pattern evolving here? 8. Hey, what if I lie on my financial declaration to get an advantage? 9. The wrong way to prepare your financial declaration. 10. The right way to prepare your financial declaration. 11. Explaining each part of the financial declaration and what the court or your ex will use it for. And 12. Supporting documents for your financial declaration must be in PDF format. Let's start with number one. What is your financial declaration? In every Utah divorce case, the parties must prepare what is known as a financial declaration. The parties to a divorce action are required by the rules of court to provide each other with a copy of their financial declarations and the supporting documents for their financial declarations. Concisely stated, your financial declaration is a document that provides information about income, assets, debts, and personal expenses. The information in the financial declaration is used to analyze and determine questions of child support, alimony, division of marital property, and assigning responsibility for marital debts and obligations, as well as for determining an attorney's fee award in some cases or for any other reason. See Utah Rules of Civil Procedure Rule 26.1e. The specifics of what needs to be included in your financial declaration are outlined in Rule 26.1. I will use the acronym URCP to mean Utah Rules of Civil Procedure. So URCP 26.1 requires that you provide specific supporting documents with your financial declaration. They are your previous two years personal and business tax returns, including all the documents submitted with those tax returns and all documents used to prepare those tax returns. You also have to provide pay stubs for the last 12 months before the petition for the divorce was filed with the court, and documents that verify the value of all real estate that the parties have an interest in. For example, you'd need to provide your most recent appraisal, tax valuation, and refinance documents, whatever applies. You also need to provide bank statements for all financial accounts for the three months before the divorce was filed. This includes statements for checking, savings, money market funds, certificates of deposit, brokerage, investment, and retirement accounts, regardless of whether the account has been closed, including those held jointly in your name or as a trustee or guardian or on someone's behalf. We also suggest that you provide documentation of your personal expenses going as far back as you can find them. If you don't have this documentation of your personal expenses, start compiling it. No better time than the present.